Hello everyone, I'm Boy the Gamer, and today I'm going to talk about how to pick your main for the World of Warcraft expansion, The War Within. I'm not going to discuss best tier options, but rather why and how you should pick a class to play and actually enjoy, because let's be honest, this is still WoW and Blizzard tends to nerf and change classes and tiers every month or so. Picking a main is important because this is going to be your very first experience in a new expansion, The War Within. But it's also a lot more easier than previous expansions because of the new Warband system, which is basically shared alt progression. A very good choice by Blizzard to pretty much make anything account wide. So if you decide your new main isn't the right character, then it's easier than ever to switch and continue your journey with an alt character. However, I would recommend to pick your main before the War Within releases. The main thing I want to get in your head is not to play the best tier at the moment. You know, flavor of the month because it's gonna get nerfed anyway. You're gonna put a lot of time in it, watch countless guides on how to be overpowered and play, and eventually that's going to change. What if you don't like this character? What if you ain't OP while videos on YouTube say otherwise and you can't just wrap your head around it, resolving into frustration? That's why I wanna make sure you pick a class that totally fits you and really delivers a fun experience through the war within. Eventually your main is going to be good if you work hard, and with some luck, Blizzard puts it top tier. Pick fun over trends, especially for your first character. Or get a backup alt, which is now easier to have up and ready when your class turns out bad. It's a safe option, especially with the new Warband system. The next big factor is which role you want to play. Tank, DPS or healer. Not considering endgame PvE or PvP just yet. But keep in mind if you are a hardcore player or casual player. Do you play alone, with friends, or are you part of a big guild? Again, Warbands is gonna get quite handy in here. Hardcore players need to keep in mind the balanced tuning of classes and player perception. If you are a hardcore player and you wanna tank, DPS, or be a great healer, and your main class sucks, then you're gonna have a hard time finding groups because of player perception of your class. Let's say you play Priest Healer. Imagine it being nerfed to a terrible healer, then no one is gonna like you inside their group. That's just the way it is. Players will hate low tier classes, which is the perception of it. Casual players will care less, but they're still gonna argue if you suck. And if you're playing solo instead of having a group with friends or guild members, this is gonna be difficult. Yes, I just said don't pick top tier of the month. But you need to keep this in mind in this very situation, especially if you play alone. That's why I keep mentioning warbands, keep an alt just in case as backup, because if you play alone, you are like thrown into the mercy of random groups and random players, and they might not be so nice if your class isn't doing so well. However, let's get back to the basics of this video, finding a new main character to enjoy your very first journey into the war within. If you want to tank, you need to be ready to lead your group, get updated on dungeon tactics and boss fights. Several classes are tanky, such as warrior, paladin or druids just to name a few. Maybe you want to play a healer and keep everybody alive, you know, be the backup and the heart of the group and just keep everyone alive while they're dealing damage and clearing out the enemies. Maybe throw out some water tight totems as a shaman or use the power of a holy priest or maybe just use the power of nature as a druid, you know, just to name a few classes that can heal. DPSing as either melee or ranged damage. Are you ready to destroy mobs of villains while the tank and healer focus on keeping the group alive? Maybe you want to be a monk blowing heavy blows or a ranged type. Maybe a mage casting magic missiles, nuking your enemies to pulp. Again, roles are important, so pick a class that you see yourself playing in good and bad times. Play them because you're really hyped for your class and your role. Try out different talent specs. Maybe if you DPS and let's say you are a frost mage, you might need to switch to fire or arcane for dungeons if you want to keep up with everybody's damage score. Maybe not your favorite spec, but your favorite class at the very least in this example. Anyway, so much to do, so much to try out, but in the end you're gonna be happy if you choose a class that's really fit for you instead of following the herd and picking the flavor of the month. Let me know in the comments below which class you are picking for the war within. I tried out several characters in Mists of Pandaria Remix and I really fell for Shaman. 
I'll probably run in as a healer because from what I've seen, Shaman is really good at this point and hopefully Blizzard keeps it that way. Um, as far as the other roles go, if I had to pick a DPS, I'll probably go for Retribution Paladin because one, I always had a soft spot for the Holy Warrior and two, they're looking pretty good for the War Within. As far as tanks go, I'd probably pick Druid because as for now, it seems a very steady tank and a good talent spec towards the new expansion. Anyway, that's it for my video. If you enjoy World of Warcraft, be sure to click that subscribe and like button because I create tons of WoW content. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.